welcome to GRDplus.com. Um, welcome back to the second lecture. Today's lecture is about arithmetic and obviously we will not be talking about um, the other contents than arithmetic here. So our, our today's topic is arithmetic. And um, obviously, um, we'll talk about the first topic, which we call integers. Actually, all everybody um, like us, they understand what integers are integers are nothing but the numbers so obviously integers are real numbers but all real numbers are not integers let's um, talk about the definition uh, of integers the integers are numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on together with negatives and their positives. So what integer may look like? Integer can be negative, it can be positive and it can be neither negative nor positive. So neither negative nor positive. I mean this and that. What that mean? That means okay. Now less integer is negative three is an integer. Negative ten thousand is an integer. Also zero is an integer, and um, one is an integer. And obviously you can say five. Uh, thousand is an integer. So here we see that that means the integers can start from negative infinity to all the way to zero and then zero to positive infinity. But it has to be whole number. Whole Integer can be, it can be 2.5, it can be pi, pi is not an integer, it can be e, this can be uh, integers. Now let's talk about um, some. let's talk about some properties of integers if you are given two integers say say you are given um, a and b which we call their integers can be R integers Let me fix it. Okay. Now let's clean everything. So if um Then a 
plus B would be an integer then A times B would be another integer and um, When integers are multiplied, each of the multiplied integers is called a factor or a divisor. So, factor or divisors. Okay. So, what is factor and divisor, divisors again? when the integers are multiplied each of the multiplied integers is called a factor or a divisor so here the factors or the divisors are equal to a and b now let, let's take another example if you have 60 then you can write 60 equals 2 times 30 so here 2 and 30 are factors or divisors then you can write 2 times 2 times 15 so here 2 and 15 is our divisors you can write 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 so you can call 2 3 and 5 are divisors or factors obviously we call another way is 60 um, we call this way like 60 uh, is a multiple multiple of its factors In other words, you can say 60 is divisible zero by So 
so here we um, now we got several concepts which we call factor divisors multiples and etc so another thing we must know is um, uh, what you call is list um, list common multiple We call it LCM. Least common multiple of two integers, say A and B, is the least positive integer that is a multiple of both A and a B. Okay, let's take an example. So we have two. Um, Two integers say a equals three and b equals twelve. So what is the um, LCM of three and twelve? Okay, that's an easy way to find it out. So the whole thing you can divide by one and three times four is twelve. And this whole thing you can write. Um, look at this you cannot you need always two numbers to divide them but this is the both of the numbers are divided by one so you end up with one and four so you write LCM uh, equals three times four so you come up with LCM is 12 so again, the least common multiple are two non-zero -inti non integers. Um, a and B is the least positive integer that is multiple of both A and B. On the other hand, um, we need to know the greatest common divisor. We call it um, GCD. greatest common divisor greatest common divisor of two non-zero integers a b is the greatest positive number that is a divisor of both a and b say 30 and 75 the greatest common divisor is obviously 15 So, why? Because this is the greatest divisor by which you can divide both of them. After that, any integer after 15 cannot divide 30 and 75 at the same time. Say, talk about 30. 30 can divide 30, but 30 cannot divide 75. If you divide uh, 75 by 30 then you'll get something else which will not be integers now in the next video we'll be talking about remainder quotients um, also even number even integers odd integers and prime numbers the most important thing so hope you uh, watch on the next video on integers thank you very much